morning. Hi, it's Jules here. I just thought I'd take a moment just to give you a little bit of a video tour of my space. So this is my sign and so I'm all the way down um, 60 Roosevelt Road. As you can see there's lots of space for potential. So here we are. This is our little spot. And so it's a beautiful day today. Uh, I've just put our open sign out. It's pretty much how my mornings go. Um, so I'm just open three days at this point. Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 10 till 3. But we'll just take it as it goes. So there's my little shop. So normally when I get here I unroll the awning and put my sign out my bike out I didn't manage to get a ride this morning but normally I go for a little ride up and down the street and then put it up here and that's a little sunny spot looking pretty good today I can drink my coffee so here we go number 60 Roosevelt Road down Marsden City we sort of like these um, dark colored containers I'm in the progress uh, process of actually painting a a mural to hang on the side but here we are welcome this is our sunny little spot and the sunny tiles to emphasize that so this is my little um, artificial living wall and just a little chandelier I've made with straws and paper some cards here just some little wee tiny ones people still love getting little cards the windows are a bit foggy up because I've just got here so we've got all sorts of little bits and pieces pre-loved cute these are oh, these are so cute these little spice jars just waiting even just to have on your mantel pieces of decorating through there that's my little kitchenette and my coffee machine yep very important so I've got a little bit of a screening here and this is a new little area I've just done um, just recovered this couch and painted it pink just to match with everything and just managed to buy myself a, a new little palm there it's needing a little bit of um, feeding and a bit of repotting but it's going to come through great and my circle which is a little bit lopsided but anyway that's how we roll here and this is my um, my little desk that I bought which was a um, just an old dark brown the top was actually bent so I couldn't actually reuse that but um, I managed to find this top um, I think it was in um, one of the hospice shops so we bought that and just plonked that on top I say we I mean my hubby he's very handy so yep as you can imagine we have plants here I got the plant bug a few years back um, and so they've been making cuttings and so they go really well here's some really cool little um, vintage sheets I was going to cut them up and make them into dresses, but they were just so cute, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Little whoops, bouquet. That's one. Some dried flowers and some really cute little shots of when we were holidaying over in Europe. Seems like a long way away now. So, yeah, just some little bits and pieces and little treasures that I find. And so, here we have the, some pre loved clothes. Um, so they're all pretty much $10. Some of them, smaller sizes, are just a dollar at the moment. And some pre-loved magazines. Because really, a lot of design is timeless. So, and it's cool for just cutting up for crafts. And round here we have, this is my own range here, getting back into designing again. I've um, been doing a few aprons just because they're real cute for like crafting or whatever and yeah so that's a scarf recently I made which has got some kimono vintage fabric on and then I don't know if you can see that I've done some stitching on top which is sort of an ancient um, Japanese way of mending 
I often would do like threads uh, crisscrossing to secure the fabric, so that's great. Oh, this is a cute little jacket recently made, just with some little details. A bit of pink, some nice funky elastic there. So that's a bit of fun. Um, this one is a silk, a beautiful silk. Um, will go good for a wedding or something. A little bit of details on the pocket, if you can see that. The sequins. Um, a couple of others. So yeah, just pretty much getting back into designing again. So there's a nice little pinny. Changing room, also important. These little garlands are cute. You can hang them, um, just one or two, or string them together if you wanted to do them in a kids' room as well. And that's um, one of the little skirts I made um, using shibori dyeing, where you fold them up and use cardboard to sort of stop the dye going to certain places. And here I am. Now this is a little penny I made for myself at, um, out of a lovely linen. It's just such a great colour. It's a bit of a crisscross at the back. I don't know if you can see that. And I've lengthened my straps a little bit just to um, up the size. So now I'll go into our, my workroom, which is a little bit crazy and chaotic. But I know where everything is most of the time. Love that. That quote. Be a pineapple stand out from the crowd and this was a really cool little scripture years ago that we had at a, a girls night she designed a life she loved based on John 10 10 so that's yeah I love that one so this is my sewing room my trusty sewing machine my overlocker this is something I'm just doing at the moment as a jacket and I've just um, sewn that on and embellished with sequins um, so that's going to have a raglan sleeve this this um, coat it will also have a hood so I'll do the sleeves in black so hopefully they'll be finishing that today and here we go there's my my trusty mannequin in the corner um, comforting some people call her creepy but she's there at the moment <laughs> and I oh I just love this I got another little pin board pegboard just to put all my bits and pieces up on um, yeah I try to put everything up there at the end of the day but sometimes it doesn't happen but yeah so anyway that's my space I'll take you back out there so if ever you want to come visit give us a yell I'm here from 10 till 3 on Friday Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Have a great day.